Hello gamers, this is Flamin' Gaming 7 and welcome back to River City Girls 2. Today we're gonna like go into a restaurant and do a boss fight or something. Actually, okay, hold on. How many hits does Marion have on her combo? I, I think yeah. I don't think Marion has any moves. Okay, hold on. We're gonna find a bus stop. We're gonna go get Marion some more moves. Actually, real quick before we do that, there's this little unexplored area of Ocean Heights we haven't been to yet. I think I know what it is because it's the same as it is in the first game. Oh, there's a dojo right there. Well, I'm really glad I did this then. Looks like there's some more shops. We'll pop into those first. Oh, I should really lock that door. What? What is the... What? Why? But you sell things here. <laughs> also, you look like one karma from Ace Attorney. All right, the Donut Queen. Oh, those look good. Oh, I want donuts. Oh, and they're actually a pretty solid price. Let's, let's buy a couple of them. Oh, wait, hold on. Boom. Hmm. What do you mean, hmm? hmm? Not hmm, my purchases. I really must post a dress code. The customers we get. Yeah, I know. Some of them come in here and they aren't showing off their incredible abs. Like, it's really disappointing. Welcome. Please enter. I know her voice. Hold on. She voices someone in something I'm watching right now, which I know doesn't narrow things down a lot. I feel like she voices an anime character, but what anime have I been watching recently except Dragon Ball, but I don't think she voices anyone in Dragon Ball. Maybe. I don't know. I'll have to think on that a bit. I feel like she owned a different shop in the last game. I'm not sure. Um, sure. We can grab some baked chicken. Right. Thank you for coming. I definitely know her voice. For the record, the audio isn't messed up or anything. There's just no music right now. I'm not a fan of it either, don't worry. Ocean Heights Freeway. Okay, is there anything this way? I don't think so. I think this just connects to... Whoa. I'm just right in the middle. Alright, that works. And I think this is where Noise's bus was blocked. So where is Noise at now? Are we going to run into her? I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, there's a bus stop over to the left, so... I mean, I'm just gonna go straight to the right, because that's where the Jojo is. We need to buy her some moves. Alright, what can we get? Let us master the art of breaking faces. I love breaking faces. So it looks like I have gotten her some moves. Okay, I want just, like, a normal move. I don't think that's the one I'm looking for. I think hook is what I'm looking for. I just want to extend our normal combo. Jewel punch? Oh, sure. Jump ahead, but I don't know... How would he use any of these moves? Under what circumstances they get used in? Party Crasher looks good. Choice. Let's just go with that, I guess. Hoping to never use them. Definitely, definitely. I would hate it if I would just like to beat up some random person on the street. Okay, so we've got five hits in our normal combo. Plus, we can add a heavy attack onto that for some major damage. By the way, something I learned, uh, I think after recording episode 10, I learned it at some point, I just haven't mentioned it until now. Marion and I think the Lee brothers is what their names are. They're actually from Double Dragon, the same game of Bobo's from. So I guess Double Dragon and River City Girls have a really close relationship. Hold on, I just realized the music was muted. <laughs> there was very much music. I, I just, I mean, there wasn't because I had it muted because I'm a derp. I, I needed to mute it to check sounds and stuff. We're gonna talk to this Why, person now. Hello there, good what? Sir. It is I, Blair, the, uh, witch, I guess. And wow. I am Suiko, so what? I to do what computer to do. Wha uh -huh, whatever. Not like I remember what you two look like anyway. You got your emblems? <laughs> of course we do. What kind of stupid question is that? Here you go. Who? Uh, we are who we say we are. And not someone totally different impersonating them. Hmm. The emblems check out. Enjoy your meal. I'll Thank you. Get used to that. Oh, and there he goes. All right. Oh, we're being teleported. Wow. All right, Primo's this lobby. Great. Oh, yeah, we've got the bow on. Through this mask. It's not a mask I though. Barely breathe. It's a bow and a little bit of makeup. Get his emblem too. Oh, new lyric song. Hold on. Turn that up a bit. You look like you want to fight. Whoa! This door obviously leads somewhere important. Too bad it's locked. Come on, let's beat up more Yakuza. One of them must have a key. 
All right, we're just gonna listen to this banger song while we beat up a bunch of Yakuza. I'm just not gonna talk so we can listen to this banger. Oh no, no! Ooh, ooh. Sorry, sorry, I talked. We're just supposed to be listening to Megan McDuffie right now. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but that's the person who ah, did the OST for this game. And she did, she sings all the songs. And I assume she's Noise's voice actor? I don't actually know that. Like, just normal voice actor while she's talking. Okay, none of them had a key. So, where do I go to beat up these Yakuza? Go over- can you not- okay, we can go that way. Who else can we beat up? Do we have to go outside? Okay then, that's strange. I really feel like we should just be able to destroy the door if you- if you want my honest opinion, but okay. I guess we just beat up random Yakuza. Oh, okay then, let's do that. Hello, Yakuza. So do I have to specifically target people that look like Yakuza? Like there's some enemies that look like Yakuza, and then some that are just random people. This is not clear whatsoever. I'm just gonna go beat everyone up until I find what we're looking for. Okay, so I beat up a few people outside, then came back in, beat up some more people, and Proovy says that she got the key card. They're really bad at remembering names. Like, that's just something that's been the case throughout the whole game. They do not seem to remember names well. Okay, look at those two. They are looking like, fancy. Especially the one with her still linger hair. Everyone's just kind of standing here. Oh, it's because we're blending in. Well, sorry. So yeah, when I press the attack button for the first time, the bow, like, disappears. And then everyone starts attacking. Okay, I thought that was just the game glitching out and everyone freezing. Boom. Stop it. I know there's- I saw it on the map. There's four rooms to this place, and one of them is, of course, gonna be a boss room. And this is the second, so that means we're already about halfway to the boss. Now we just need to kill everyone. Classic River City Girls moment. This is really bad restaurant management, by the way, to have a bunch of doors locked. Oh, that's so cringe. Oh, cool. Yeah, this is incredibly, incredibly inefficient. All right. Ooh, we're in the kitchen. And it's hard to fight in these masks. Don't take it off yet. We still have to fool that chef guy. Fine. Hey, you. Are you that famous evil chef? What? No, I'm Minoki, the sous chef. Why? It means assistant, right? Uh, more or less. I work with the great and talented Primo Fantasy. He's so cute. That's not his real name. Are you sure you wouldn't? The Senor Primo is River City's greatest culinary talent. And all he makes is soup? Uh. Trying to keep up. Why are you chained up like that? Wait, what? Well, Senor Primo Where are the chains? Sure his kitchen staff from. Stays focused. That's so cool. Want us to break you free? Yes, but no. That is, if Senor Primo ever found out. We're going to go beat him up right now. Yes. <laughs> Please let me out of here. Here, take this keycard. It will get you into the studio next door where Senor Primo takes his number one cooking program. We're going to be on TV. Ooh. Where will you go, Inoki? It has always been my dream to open up a food truck of my own. After slaving in this kitchen for Senor Primo for the past seven years. Senor is supposed to, the N is supposed to be an N yay, not an N. Good luck with that. Save us a burger or whatever it is you make. At least she doesn't think it's soup. Alright, I don't think there's much else for us to do in here. The disguises are off because I had to press Y to, to talk to him. Hold on, let me try something. If we go back in here. I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't know if we can talk to him again. So I'm still holding Y. I haven't let go of it. Oh, I'd like to test that, but we definitely can't. Why is the door locked? 
I, I would, this is normally when I zoom in on it. But, did I just soft lock myself? Did I just soft lock myself? This game's had some glitches. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. This game's had some glitches before, but this is next level. No one caught this? No one caught this in playtesting. Like, there are some points in games where you just think, this was playtesting, right? I... Um... Okay, I'm gonna close out of the game and hope that it, like, didn't save or something? I don't know. Okay, I closed out of the game, like, all the way. Closed out. We're gonna go in here and hope that we're allowed to leave. We might be softlocked. I, I, he gave us a key card, right? I mean, I'm gonna try beating everyone up just to see if they give us one. We might actually be softlocked. Like, per, like period. Like, just period. I mean, I'll probably have put it in the title if that's what happened. So you already know. Um, I'll beat everyone up and then Google will see if there's a way to fix this if beating people up doesn't work, I guess. So, I, um, decided to Google if anyone else has come across this. I'm at the Primo's boss fight for the, uh, the problem is don't unlock talk to the guys so open, what do I do? Unfortunately, you are going to have to start a fresh game. I know I've been there, it hurts. I don't know how games so great can be so flawed of, uh, yeah, sometimes some, they found some sort of soft lock or something with that. Uh, that, no, I didn't want me to close that. They already patched that, you're all playing in the newest version, yeah, I did the update. I'm going to check to see if anyone else has a solution, but I mean, I think that's it. I found another Reddit post where someone had the same problem. A bunch of people were saying that they had it too. Who These people couldn't find solutions. This person says it took me a long time for the card to be found. Apparently I killed an enemy and they dropped the card and I missed it. I had to go methodically through the previous room until I found it. I mean, you get this card from the NPC, but I'm going to go, I'm going to beat a bunch of people up and... I guess check a couple more reddit posts. Gamers, that's it. River City Girls 2, theories has ended. I tried switching characters, dying, reloading my save from a checkpoint, from a hideout. I murdered everyone in this building a couple of times, although I think that person on the reddit was talking about one of the previous key cards, and that's how they got stuck. That's different than this one, which we got via talking to this dude. And I guess if you leave the room, which I did for the sake of a silly little joke, just seeing if I could talk to him without activating the enemies by attacking, doing that caused it to stop lock. I think it's really disappointing that this was even let in the game in the first place. Not to mention, after a year and several months of being out, it has not been patched. And I know this game has gotten several updates and patches. Ever oh, I didn't think enemies would appear here. No! I'm trying- this is like the end of the series! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna leave and re-enter the room, and then I'm not gonna attack, because then no one's gonna attack me back. Also, Kyoko has a pirate hat, so we'll be ending this series with pirate hat Kyoko. I also have my Kyoko plush with me right now, so she'll be here for the end of the series. Usually I would do this during the credits, but I guess I'm gonna say my thoughts on this game now. My thoughts in this game are very similar to what I just described with the softlock. Disappointing. Like, on its own, it's good. But River City Girls 1 just set such a high bar, and it was so incredible and fun and unique, and this game just doesn't do that. I honestly am probably going to make an entire video specifically about why this game is a disappointment to the first game. Because the first game, it's just so good. And I had no doubts that this one would be just as good, if not better. And yet, I mean, here we are, soft locked, so that's immediate point deduction. So many of the cutscenes, that's the main thing with this game. It focuses on the gameplay too much. I never liked River City Girls for the gameplay. It's good, I like beating everyone up, and I definitely like the boss fights. But that's not the main appeal. The main appeal is the fun interactions between Kyoko and Misako. And we don't get that in this game. Regardless of whether or not you actually choose the characters Kyoko and Misako, you just don't get that. And I paid $40 for it, so I figured I'd stick through and play it. But I think this is the universe's way of telling me, Flamin, you've played enough this game. You're clearly not enjoying it that much. You don't have to play it anymore. So we're not playing it anymore. I mean, as you can probably tell from everything I've said, I am not going to replay everything up until now and start a new save or whatever. I am 
not doing that. I just do not want to. I mean, it'd be hard to motivate myself to do that with a game I liked, let alone River City Girls 2, which is a very meh game. I'm not gonna say it's bad, but if you're a River City Girls fan, I would not recommend buying it. There's, there's some highlights. I mean, listen to the song right now. This is a highlight. This game has really good music. There aren't a lot of songs with lyrics that are original to this game, but the ones that are here are so fire. Better Than You is just like, God, noise, step on me. You are so much better than me. I mean, what? Huh? What? Huh? Your like is actually a really good message. And like, in a way that's fitting for River City Girls. River City Girls, it's not a serious game. But, I don't know, Your Light gets it across in a good way. Get Off My Lawn is just iconic. And this song, I don't know what's going on with it, but I love it too. Uh, that and the boss fights. That's honestly, I probably would have dropped this game if it wasn't for the fact that I I thought that including this one, there were going to be four episodes left. Primo boss fight, uh, Explorer Samurai Tower, Sabu boss fight, and the Ken and Double Dragons boss fight? Double Dragons the video game. I don't, Twin Dragons, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know there's a Ken rematch where he's got two little minions. And so that's what's going to be its own episode, as well as the two bosses in Samurai Tower. So, I, I, the boss fights are pretty decent in this game. That's definitely the highlight. Not, like, amazing, but it's the best part about the game. So I was willing to play the rest of the game just for the boss fights, but... Uh, as, again, that's not going to be happening. I think that's all I have to say about this game. Up next is Ghost Trick. That will be taking River City Girls to slots. We started the demo... Uh, on Halloween last year, and now we're gonna get into it with a proper Let's Play. <laughs> After that, it's I think Shantae, it's been a while since we played a Shantae game, Shantae, Shantae Risky's Revenge specifically, and then probably River City Girl Zero. I was really excited for River City Girl Zero, but now I'm a little iffy because River City Girls 2 has just left a bad taste in my mouth. But I'll let some time pass, and River City Girl Zero is probably going to be really good. So subscribe if you want to see more of that, and go subscribe to my Variety channel if you want to see my analysis on why River City Girls 2 just did not live up to its prequel. And go subscribe to my Minecraft channel if you like Minecraft. It's totally irrelevant to River City Girls, but you can subscribe to that anyway. For now, gamers, we're going to end this the best way we know how. We're going to take off this stupid mask, and we're going to beat up a bunch of random people while some banger music plays, because that is the River City Girls way. For now, gamers, this has been Game and Game at 7 Let's Plays. Thank you very much for sticking with me throughout this Let's Play of a questionable game with a very, very disappointing ending. In the end, we had fun, just not as much as we did in the first game. Make sure to like and subscribe. Oh, and finish it off with one more dab, of course. And remember, kids, eat your green vegetables!